so another programming dynamic programming you have to make 18 rupees with the help of this 3.75 and 1 so you have multiple options you can take 2 7 coin and 4 1 coin to make 18 you can take 1 7 coin 2 5 coin and 1 1 coin to make 18 so the constraint is to use minimum number of coin to make 18 rupees so here we're going to use dynamic programming to solve this question for dynamic programming we are using an array whose size is is equals to the value means 18 plus 1 that means 90 so we are filling this array to minus 1 that means the whole array is filled with minus one value and after that we are printing the value written by this method num coins in which i am passing val which is 18 coins which is the the type of the type of coins available and dp dp is the dynamic programming array in which we're going to store the values okay so coming to the method part coming to the function num coins in which we are taking value uh, array and a dynamic programming array first of all we are checking if the value is equals to equals to one that means if we want to make a value we if we want to make zero rupees how much coin we have to take zero so this is the base condition if the value is equals to equals to zero then zero okay uh, after that int answer is equals to integer dot max value what we are doing over here is we are taking the maximum value and storing it in the answer value and we will update the answer value when we get lesser value than that after that what we are doing is we are taking three parts we are first of all taking seven and checking what is what is it returning what is the minimum value it is returning minimum number of coin it is returning then taking five minimum number of coin then one minimum number of coin so we are taking three parts so we are using a, a using a for loop to do that after that if val minus coin i is greater than or equals to zero that means 18 minus suppose the i value is zero 18 minus 7 which is 11 is greater than zero then we will proceed further otherwise it we will not suppose 18 minus 5 18 minus 1 if it is greater than zero then we will proceed further otherwise not so we are initializing sub answer is equals to zero so we're going to update the sub answer value in the further part if db val minus coin i that means if suppose value is it val is 18 and coin i is 7 so 18 minus 7 which is 11 if in db array if in uh, dynamic programming array to get 11 the number of coins are available then we will uh, the number of coins are available already available then we will update the sub answer with that value if it is not available then we will calculate further so what we're checking if the value is not is equal to minus one that means for for making 11 for making 11 the minimum number of coins are available then we will update the sub answer to the given value and if it is not available then we will calculate how we will calculate we will call we will use recursion over here num coins val minus coin minus one suppose it is 18 and the coin i value is 7 2 then we will provide 1 11 and the whole number of coins available 7 5 and 1 and the dynamic programming dynamic dp array uh, in which the values are stored so this this will do what this will calculate the value uh, this will calculate the minimum number of coins required to make a particular value suppose 11 so it will give me the answer to uh, answer which is the minimum number of coin required required to make a value suppose 11 then after that if sub answer is not is equals to answer if the value of sub answer is not is equals to answer and the sub answer is less than answer so what i'm saying over here is uh, i will take several parts and it will ca calculate the number of coins available to make this number suppose 11 i can take 2 5 and 1 i can take uh, 1 7 and uh, 4 1 so this will uh, this will return on uh, different different values and it will be stored in sub answer okay then what i will check is i will check that if this value is not is equal to answer in the first place and after that i will check sub answer is less than answer that means the previously calculated value if it is less than the previously calculated value then i will update the answer value with sub answer plus one okay and after that now after that this whole loop will continue and perform the same operation and then the dp val that means for uh, suppose for cal for calculating one for reaching the value 11 the minimum number of coins required is the answer one suppose uh, 2 5 and 1 1 that is a num minimum number of coins required to make 11 is 3 so in dp that value will be stored and the whole process will be executed again and again and after that the answer will return so for here uh, the expected value is 4 7 2 5 and 1 let's run this so it's giving us an error let me increase the text value and uh, control plus l control l to clear that all and then i will use java coin dynamic dot java and enter so it is given four so let's check out for 11 and control s and uh, in my opinion the minimum value is three so let's check that out so here three and for making seven in my opinion the minimum value is zero as one seven coin is available over here so it is one and let's check for 10 in my opinion it is uh, two i guess five and five 
so every time it is returning a similar value similar value i will not say that this similar value but it is returning a correct value the minimum number of coin this is how you can solve a dynamic programming question with the help of uh, array so in several programming like in several programming codes or questions you have to use matrices so here the single dimensional array is okay so you have to just keep in mind in dynamic programming you have to store some value so that you don't have to calculate it again that's the basic concept or the main concept of dynamic programming if you like this video then subscribe to this channel we will meet in the next video